Hello guys, welcome to our talk show. Today we are very honored to have invited a very famous guitarist from Belgium uh, to be on our show. Yeah, sir. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to our talk show. Welcome to China. Thank you. Thank you. Could you first please introduce yourself a little bit more to your audience? Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Aram van Ballaert. I'm a Belgian guitar player and a Belgian composer. Uh, this uh, last week was my first time in China and it was really Fantastic. This is uh, such a beautiful country. Uh, nice. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for saying that. So how do you like it here? Um, I, I just w was in Beijing. Normally I had a concert in uh, Ulaanbaatar uh, in Mongolia, but uh, the plane didn't leave two times, so I left here. But uh, it was an opportunity to visit this, this beautiful city. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's really great. Uh, Chinese. Th the weather was cold, but the people were warm. So oh, thank that you. was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I hope you'll get a chance to come back more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Normally, maybe in November I will come back. Uh, oh, good, we'll, we'll good. See. Yeah. We're looking forward to yeah. that. Thank you. You know, um, first, firstly, I have to congratulate you. It's a wonderful performance you mm -hmm. just done. Thank you. And uh, I was a bit uh, kind of late because of the traffic, but uh, I, I watched the last three pieces of mm -hmm. music that you played. One is the solo yeah, that you yeah. did. The other two were the, um, a piece of music you played with our Chinese yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, musician. Mm -hmm. ah, so, can you, can you tell, tell us how did you feel? Well, it, for me it was fantastic because I never met this uh, musician before, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mr. Sun Jin Yang, mm -hmm. I think his name. Uh, and so we met uh, 15 minutes before the concert. Uh, we oh. met and we played a little bit together. And, and uh, it's, um, I think, music is a is a is a language that you can start talking immediately. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, Chinese for me, it's 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 impossible to learn it even in a few years. I think, mm -hmm. but with music, you can communicate uh, directly. It goes from one heart to another straight. There's no shortcut in music. It's all only honest conversations. Wow! And if you meet a musician like uh, Sun uh, Jin Yang, uh, it is it's it's straight. It's it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, I love the the, the poetry in Chinese music. I am mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested in Chinese culture for a long time. I oh. do a little bit of um, of a tai chi, a tai, tai chi, uh, tai chi chuan. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for a few years uh, I I try it at home. I have a very good <laughs> teacher, but uh, so the the Tao and things like that. It's it's uh, Wu Wei and the the, the things uh, in Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it inspires me a lot also as a musician. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. So you only met each other like 15 minutes before the yeah. performance. Yeah. So you improvised right? yeah. a lot during yeah. the performance there. Yeah. I could, couldn't feel, I thought you were kind of rehearsed many times no, before the performance. No, no. So it was a really good combination. Yeah, really. but to be honest, uh, the organization sent me some uh, YouTube uh, uh, movies uh, about the the, uh, the instrument uh, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, yeah yeah so so I listened a lot in uh, in in, the, in my plane uh -huh. and and uh, so so I knew a little bit the atmosphere of this uh, kind of music so uh, I was prepared without being really prepared without being too prepared but but uh, playing with someone uh, is is always an adventure mm -hmm. and uh, you have to uh, just to do it yeah. to do but but I just still. A very very skilled guitar uh, player like you, it's a, it's a piece of cake, no problem at all. Mm, yeah, it's <laughs> uh, you have to be honest as a musician. You have yeah. your vocabulary, and then you you try some sentences together. So, but thank you well, for the well. compliment. Yeah, yeah. As for the um, and um, a member from the audience, uh, I, I really really enjoyed it. I yeah. loved it so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, I think there was a big. Uh, a big connection between the audience who felt that I really appreciate your Chinese culture and music mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and they also listened have, had a close listen to my own compositions so yeah. there was a it was like a conversation without words yeah so yeah. and that's that's what have to happen with concert if not you can stay at home and put a CD on yeah yeah, yeah exactly. so so I think uh, I, I I want to take risks and and I love it and sometimes you win some you lose some and I th I think we want some. You won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Together <laughs> with. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's really good auto in, in interaction between yeah. you and the audience. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. So how about we go back to to, to, to the start when you first uh, started playing, you know, guitar? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us? The, the, the story, what inspired you to choose this musical instrument? Well, I start with the uh, ukulele, with the ukulele, which is a ah, yeah, yeah, little guitar. That, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I was six years old, but uh, after a few years, I got bored. I mean, I, I wanted more strings, so... Uh, more challenges. <laughs> more challenges. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I bought a classical guitar, 
mm -hmm. uh, because of the sound. I didn't buy uh, electric guitar, but afterwards I did it, but I started with classical music and I played along with, with records, records from my parents, my own records. Uh -huh. And at a certain moment I felt like I was uh, blocked a little bit, so I went to music school mm -hmm. to learn to read and to write music and then uh, the combination of my instrument in which improvisation is a, is, is a, uh, a skill you have to know and then reading classical music, the combination of that brought me where I'm now. Mm -hmm. But uh, So I, I think guitar is an instrument uh, which fits a lot of s styles of music. So I also mm -hmm. play in pop and rock bands. Oh, really? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I, I, um, I play a lot of uh, big gigs with, with, um, with bands in Belgium and uh, the Netherlands. But my first love is classical music, uh, mm -hmm. and that's my biggest love. So, uh, yeah. because of the the honest sound, you can you uh, you don't need an amplifier, you don't need all mm -hmm. those things. Uh, so, um, so I started when I was ten uh, to study really the classical guitar, and then. Um, I did some um, sort of music university studies. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the beginning, you kind of like self-taught. Right? Yeah. Then in yeah. later on, you got yeah. some professional training yeah. uh, from, and from universities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a teacher now myself, and I I find it really very interesting to first uh, learn them the kids how to play mm -hmm. and then how to read, because it's like in language. If you first learn to read and to write, you will be blocked. But um. if you first learn to play and then, oh, I play this and then it's the other way around. So I, I think see. music education, education should, be, should start with the instrument, with playing and then go to the reading and the writing. Oh, yeah. I see. Kind of like the language learning, right? Yeah. You, you, you speak the language first, yeah, yeah, yeah. then if you go back to the yeah. study the grammar. It's directly. Yeah, there's yeah. no in-between, there's no books, there's no scores. And mm -hmm. afterwards it's good to learn how to read and to write, to, mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to perfect make your skills. Yeah, mm -hmm. and to make your vocabulary uh, bigger. So th I think that's very important. Wow. But uh, yeah, I, I, when I teach uh, little kids or, or even my older students, I improvise mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, just like, um, yeah, just like talking, just, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the, like the, kind of like the, music is also like the language, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. real language is to communicate. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I did concerts in Africa, I did concerts in, 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 in Ukraine, wow. uh, in Saudi Arabia, and I, I always like to play with, with people from there, which, uh, I, I can't speak those the languages, languages but I can speak the music, so, so in that way uh, you can communicate in, in, in another way, uh, a more spiritual way, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a even higher form of uh, language. Yeah. 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 yeah, So this musical music is like a uh, universal language. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. breaks down all the, um, the common language barriers. Yeah. Uh, to, to enable you to communicate with the audience yeah. with your students. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. So, how long have you been you know, playing uh, uh, classic guitar? Classic guitar. I started classical guitar when I was. 10 years old and I'm 46 now, so I play 36 years. Oh, you don't look 46. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, uh, I, feel, I feel 56 today. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but uh, yeah, so I play for, for many, many years. And, oh. and, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, I miss my guitar when I don't play for two days. So, so even when I'm on holiday with my family, I take a, a, a little guitar with me to play. How, how many hours of, uh, do you play? It depends. Uh, sometimes it's just two, three hours if I have to teach and if, if I have to do other things. Sometimes I play six, seven hours. Uh, I, I, I don't have a strict schedule. I don't believe in strict schedules. Mm -hmm. I, I believe in, in you have to play every day a few hours, mm -hmm. but... but um, so you're not forced to do so, it's just... No. You're, you're kind of like your lifestyle. Yeah. This is something you have to yeah. do, like yeah. drinking water, eat meals every day. This yeah, is, it yeah. it's like a that. natural way of, 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 uh, of my behavior. It's <laughs> I think my guitar is a little extension of my body, so <laughs> oh, I, I wow. take it everywhere I, I am. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, or of my mind even, so, so uh, I need my guitar. Without my guitar... Uh, <laughs> Something's missing. Yeah. Some piece of you is missing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It helps me to, to, um, to be... Um, in rest, in peace. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, among your music career in life, um, can you tell us which part or what is your most proud of? Um, 
uh, I'm very proud of, of uh, uh, the fact that I visit uh, different parts in the world mm -hmm. with just a, a piece of wood and six strings. Mm -hmm. So, so that uh, I'm, I'm very proud of that, and I'm also proud that I, I can compose music. So I can I can just have a little idea, and I make a lot of uh, film music in Belgium. Mm. So film music as well. Yeah, oh. yeah, film music or for TV series. I compose and, and that's very uh, pleasant, that's very nice to do because, because uh, you can, you, you can um, uh, help the storytelling with music. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a new field. I, uh, I, I, I never kind of um, had experience of. Can mm -hmm. you tell us when making composed music for a film, what are some challenges you often face? Well, well often the director gives me the script first, so mm -hmm. I read it and then uh, if you have a, a few characters, spe specific characters, I, mm -hmm. I, I have a, a harmony or a tune in my head. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I start to compose, um, so I have a little library of tunes and of uh, arrangements of tunes. Mm -hmm. And then when they send me uh, the, the, um, the, the picture, I mean the movie itself, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, can, I can try to fit those themes in it and to arrange it and to see where I have to make it for orchestra or where, where I have to just write it for piano or for guitar. Oh. So, so it's, uh, and I do a lot of improvisation too. When they give me uh, the movie, I, I, I play and I play um, and then I, I take parts out of it to, uh, to compose really. Oh. With, uh, uh. Well, can you tell us where we can you know, have the access to your music? I have a website with some music on it. Uh -huh. so it's uh, www.aramwbe. Uh, okay, uh, make sure so check that out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with some music of mine, which I composed for movies and uh, some other uh, instrumental stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, and also, you know, um, many of our audience, they are young people, youngsters from China, they may want to, you know, look up to you, like the, the role models. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, some of them maybe they are college students already, or, or maybe they are already working. Mm -hmm. uh, is it kind of um, uh, like age strict for, 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 for them to learn how to play guitar, or is it kind of difficult for them to learn uh, classic guitar now? No, the sooner you start, the better, because it's like with a language. If, mm -hmm. you, if, you, if you learn to talk when you're 15 years, it's, it, it's possible, but, but it's, uh, uh, it's not the same. Yeah, how, about, how about adults? Any advice you can give to the adults who want to you know, start learning guitar from, from scratch? From scratch? Mm. Um, uh, start from scratch without scores. Start listening to music, mm -hmm. because like I said, it's like language. If you want to learn Spanish, mm. you can stay here and learn it from, from book, or you can go to, to, to Spain. And, uh -huh. and try to talk in, in, in a pop or in uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, playing with, with records or with YouTube, things like that, mm -hmm. and then find a good teacher who can balance between improvisation and between reading music. Okay, that's yeah. good. Before we finish up here, do you have any other words you want to say to your Chinese audience? Um, it was an honor for me to come to China and I learned some Chinese music now, so uh, I, will, I will arrange some uh, music uh, from China here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, well, I think it's time to go because my <laughs> microphone is going, <laughs> going spontaneously. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, hope to see you maybe uh, uh, in another concert uh, yeah, later yeah. on. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for taking the interview. Thank well, you. Looking forward to my pleasure. More wonderful music from you. Yeah. I wish you all the best. My pleasure.